Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. We're going down under. <laughs> you guys, I am so excited. I recorded with Biebs Kelly. You know I love Biebs so much. Uh, we had the best time and we really broke down some of Megan's worst looks on the tour to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga, etc. So I'm excited to talk about this with you. I will be breaking down some of their worst behaviors on this trip. There's so many to choose from. And of course, we'll be talking awful fashions as well. Beebs is so great and so funny. And we just had the best time laughing all the way through this. So I hope you enjoyed as well. Definitely check out Beebs' channel because we continue the conversation over there. So if there's an outfit that you're like, oh, I especially hated this outfit and you don't see it here, there's a good chance it's there. So check that out. Should be up soon after this this video. Um, again, I'm just so excited for this collaboration. Thank you everybody who's been so sweet and so supportive and make sure you're subscribed to Beebs as well. I love my Australian geese. Of course, my New Zealand geese. It's just, I wanted to do this in honor of you guys. So Hong Kong, everybody, let's take a look at the Australian trip. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm talking with Beebs Kelly. Hey, Beebs. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming back. I can't believe you came back a second time. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun the first time. I was so excited to come back again. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we, we are obsessed with you. We love your channel. We're so glad you're back. So Thank today, you. yeah, we're going to be talking the Australia trip. Dun, dun, dun. I'm excited to talk about it with you. You got, you got your work cut out for you, girl, if you're going to try to fix any of these outfits, right? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm excited to talk about all this with you. But before we dive in, let's talk about your channel. Thank you to everybody subscri who subscribed. That's amazing. You're, uh, you're just jumping up in the numbers as well. You should. You're doing so well. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody and I appreciate you bringing me on. It's been so wonderful. I'm oh, so yes. excited. Oh, I'm so glad. No, 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 no. You're doing all the work. You're doing a great job. I'm obsessed with the red dress video. I keep talking about it on my channel. If you guys haven't watched Beebs Kelly red dress video, you've got to go watch that thing. Uh, can you give us anything from it? Oh, I know you talked Megan's dress in that one. Yes. Well, you can't have a video about <laughs> some of the worst red dresses without mentioning the terrible <laughs> red dress. <laughs> that is very true. Oh, <laughs> Can I say, like, I thought that was the all-time worst red dress. I don't know. Some of those others you put up there, I won't spoil it. They, it gives it a run for its money. I'm I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah, <laughs> they really do. There's one in there by the same designer, the Carolina mm -hmm. Herrera, that is just Ooh, a travesty. Yeah. It's alarming. <laughs> yeah, it should be illegal. I agree. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so definitely go check out her channel. I'm excited to see what you come up with next. But for today, we're talking Australia. So this trip, just to refresh everybody's memory, happened in October 2018. Now remember, Harold and Fraud were married in May of 2018. So they'd only been married, what, five, six months? Uh, they went on a 16-day tour. It was Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga that they went to. Uh, lots to talk about, and we'll we'll go over it as we look at the awful outfits. But just to set the stage, it's so I'm quoting here from Tina Brown's Palace Papers book, as well as um, Valentine Lowe's Cordia's book. Megan is alleged to have said that she hated every second. She was more interested in quote backing certain causes than meeting ordinary Australians. So awful behavior from these two. We'll, we'll go through it as we look at these outfits, but I guess the awful behavior matches the awful outfits. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts on what you've seen from this tour? Um, yeah, I agree. The, uh, the, the bad behavior matching the bad outfits. At least there's something that matches. Um, yeah. <laughs> nice. you got to give a tour there. She can right. pull that off at least. The vibe uh -huh. matching the messy clothes or whatever. But um, yeah, there were, there were a few outfits that were really close to being okay. Mm -hmm. And then there were a lot of outfits that were miles away from being all right. <laughs> yes. Tour. 
That is very, very true. Oh my goodness. Well, shall we jump right in? We got so much. Oh, and before we get too far, I want to mention, so this is just part of our conversation and part is going to happen here and we're going to continue it on your channel. So um, find Beeps, sorry, find Beeps Kelly's channel after this and uh, you should see more of this conversation over there. Yes, we'll have more more of the terrible out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Saving the worst for last, right? <laughs> Goodness. So starting off with this horrible outfit, and, and at first glance, it's like, okay, I get the idea, black pants, white shirt, fine. But when you really start looking, we, I got to say it is wrinkled, right? And messy. <laughs> this was their second day of tour. The shirt is called, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, Mason Kit. And it's a blouse. It's It was actually $50, which is cheap in comparison to a lot of things she wore on this tour. The blazer is by her friend, Serena Williams. That one is $135. And the denim is Outland denim for $171. Topping it off with J. Crew boots for $217 brings this look to $573. Did you want to run right out and buy two of them? <laughs> oh, yes. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. So tell me your thoughts on this look. Tell us how we can fix it. What is going on? Well, for Megan, because she does have a shorter neck. Mm -hmm. which I do too. You got to be careful there. So having the collar popped up like she does on mm -hmm. top of the blazer, which has all this structure and the lapel, it's just kind of swamping that area a little bit. It looks a little bit too stuffy right there. Okay. And then of course you have the wrinkly shirt that's all untucked, which, you know, having her shirts a little bit lower rather than the super high, like tucked in with the giant pants, like we saw last <laughs> time we were working together, those huge pants. Yes. Um, you know, this actually can help to elongate her torso, which gives a little bit better balance. But when you do it in this sort of way, it just kind of tends to look a little bit messy. Okay. I think, <clears throat> and I think also the fact that she has these black super skinny jeans with this larger boyfriend blazer is just kind of making her look a little bit like a rectangle with yeah. tiny little twig legs peeking out <laughs> from beneath that blazer so the proportions and the balance of it are just a little bit off so when people look at it they're kind of like why does it look so weird well uh -huh. that's why <laughs> you're so right uh the the thing that strikes me too is just not just the white button down messiness. It's the blazer. The blazer's fine, except for it's not. When you roll up the sleeve like that, it just looks so messy to me. Messy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It adds messiness. It adds, it adds um kind of takes away from the polishedness that blazers can bring to an outfit. You know, you can really Absolutely. wear something super basic under a blazer. Uh -huh. And have a nice blazer that fits you well, that's tailored to the right length of sleeve, of course. Uh -huh. And it looks really nice. And, and sure. it can really make a basic outfit look polished and, and fresh and professional. And then mm -hmm. she just blows it by <laughs> turning up those cuffs. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I don't. What is that about? Do you think it's short arms? I don't, I don't, I just don't know what that's about. Well, I mean, she kind of has long arms for her oh, body. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. So it's not about that. But I think mm -hmm. maybe the fact that she needs a slightly wider blazer, you know, like she needs okay. to get a size up for uh -huh. the width of the blazer, then maybe it ends up feeling a little long in the arms. Or perhaps she just likes rolling them up like mm -hmm. that. I don't know. She does it with so many of her tops and blazers. I mean, oh. you remember that like red Joker blazer yeah. from New York? She you could forget. It? Yes. All the time. You know and what? It's a, it's, I just, I'm realizing it's to show off jewelry. Now I can't see the jewelry in this photo, but in general, I think she does that to show off the watch. Probably. Yes. That's probably true because if not, then it's just messy jewelry. Yeah. If your, if your cuffs are too long, oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine them not seeing your jewels? Right? Have a seat. That's right. Oh my goodness. Okay. So continuing on with this awful look, uh, the thing I want to focus on, cause it's kind of hard to see the dress. You can see the dress. The dress is Dior 
Uh, it's called a folded dress. I, don't, I wrote, I can't read what else I wrote, but it's Dior folded dress. That dress goes for $860, but that's not even the shocking part. The shocking part to me is this trench coat. I hate it so much. Can I just show you, look at all the wrinkles everywhere. This is by Martin Grant. It's $1,575, $1,575. And the shoes are Manolo Blahnik 680, bringing this look to $3,115. So, Biebs, talk to us about this coat. And how many of these do you own? <laughs> oh, my goodness. She has this uh, trench obsession. If it's not a trench dress, then she needs to incorporate a trench coat somehow, especially at this stage in her uh, <laughs> fashion and style. Uh, she was very into the trench coats. She went from boat necks to trench style yes. stuff, I guess. <laughs> You but, are um, so right. You're right. It's everywhere yeah. this time. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's really unfortunate because honestly, the color of the, the dress, that sort of navy blue of the dress actually goes mm -hmm. nicely with the coat. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of where the the good stops on this because shoving those sleeves up like that, it doesn't just look messy, but it also seems uncomfortable and impractical too to just yeah. shove them like that yeah. rather than maybe fold them a little bit. Yeah, that's a very good point. It does. It just comes across again, like we're saying, sloppy. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, sloppy, messy, wrinkly. You have a $1,500 coat. You can't mm -hmm. steam it. If I had a $1,500 coat, I would treat it so carefully. Yes. <laughs> yes, if I have a $50 coat, I'm not shoving the <laughs> sleeves up, probably. <laughs> this was yeah. for a reception at the government house in Melbourne. I don't think I said that. So I just look at how he's dressed. I mean, he's wrinkled too, but I'm saying he's dressed up. I don't, I don't, I just don't know. I think that, and you, you're better at this fashion than me. I don't immediately think super dressy when I see a trench coat. Yeah, and no, I agree. And and they're also not really the best style for her body type. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a super like well-defined waist or whatnot, you mm -hmm. can choose coats that have a cut mm -hmm. that can just make it look like a little bit more flattering your figure in general. Mm-hmm just like help it out a wee bit like um a coachman style or an a-line or like a princess cut style coat mm -hmm. can just kind of add a little bit of a flare like almost like a fit and flare style would and it just mm -hmm. would look a little bit nicer and dressier as well for this sort of occasion where it would look a little more professional but yeah the dress under there i believe is that sleeveless one and so you know it would make sense to have some sort of coat with it for that day i suppose but yeah sure. she could have totally gone for something just like you said, a little bit more professional, a little bit nicer, especially like Harry and his his suit there. Even though it's wrinkled, it is a little bit more of an effort. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of taken aback. But I just keep thinking too, they're there on royal duties meant to, uh, you know, recognize their host country and bring attention and, and all the things. And I just don't think this is how you do it. I think this isn't showing super respect for the country you're visiting if you show up exactly. messy. Yeah, exactly. And and also doing, you know, over $3,000 for one outfit isn't exactly mm -hmm. sending that relatable sort of a message that you might sure. want to yeah. convey or connect with people. And I mean, you can't necessarily tell looking at it that it's that expensive. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it just, yeah, it gives off that sort of I'm not necessarily here for you, you know, the people mm -hmm. who've come out and waited for hours to meet them. Yes. It's the same thing with the hand holding. I always say that it kind of creates this like bubble of, well, we're here to spend time together. This is uh -huh. a thing for us. Yes. And you just so happen to also be here and we will wave, you know, that like, is, you know rather than good point. Absolutely. You know, release one another's hands and go and meet the people who've spent their day waiting to see you maybe. Absolutely. You're so right. So she's alleged to have said, and it may have been this visit, it was one of the visits she's alleged to have said, this is in Tom Bauer's book, uh, Revenge, that said, she's alleged to have said, what are they all doing here? This is silly. So she didn't understand the point of meeting with people, yeah, I know, who are there to support, I think, the royal family as a whole. Um, 
Yeah, just a real crap attitude from the both of them. It sounds like from start to finish on this thing. But they, it sounds like, according to all these books we've read, uh, they they sure thought they were rock stars during this. They just didn't act like it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that weird. It's like a contradiction because she mm -hmm. says comments like that, like "Oh, it's so mm -hmm. silly," but then she wants that. She wants yes. paparazzi. She wants people to want to see her or you know follow her on social media or whatever. Exactly. But then she has that contradiction of like, oh, well, they're still not that yes. great or, you know, it's still, they're silly for, for even being here. How rude. You are so right. That's right. It is rude. Absolutely. It just shows a lack of manners and class, if you ask me. So moving along with the horrible outfits, one of my least favorite from the trip, at first glance i thought okay i kind of get it dark blue lighter blue maybe but i hate everything about this dress including her stance here but <laughs> this was in sydney this was a visit to macarthur girls high school this dress i'll never be able to say this right i believe it's by rock roxanda F yeah i'm not even going to try it but it, this dress cost 2264 dollars the shoes are by Stuart Weitzman. She paired them up with nude pumps for $440, totaling $2,700 just for the shoes and dress. Talk to me, Biebs. Help me out. My eyes are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this one, it's not that great. Um, no. It, it definitely has a rather widening effect yes. all throughout, uh, which is unfortunate because, I mean, I think... It could have been at least okay. It looks uh -huh. like it maybe is a little bit too long as well, but a dress like this that has that color block at the bottom would be really hard to hem. Uh-huh. Um, I noticed that the students at this place where she's visiting mm -hmm. have blazers and skirts. So oh, it might have no. been nice to oh, wear no. something like a, with a blazer, you know, like a pantsuit or a, a skirt suit that has an actual like little blazer or something just to like have that connection with the people there because yes. having bare arms at a place where their dress code clearly is to wear a blazer or, you mm -hmm. know, they probably have like long sleeve or button down shirts underneath is their dress code at this school. So the students, the girls who go here yes. have to wear blazers uh -huh. and you're in there with your bare arms. Maybe it was not the best choice in terms of etiquette oh, uh, yeah. for this location. Beebs, you are a genius. I didn't even clock that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it would have been so simple. You're so right. Just to put a nice blazer on and then, yeah, either pants or a long skirt, something. Not this. Yeah. Not this ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will Again, say she, she yeah. finally has her hair half up, half down, which okay. I'm glad because mm -hmm. I always think that that would be nice, but it is still kind of ruined by having, she still has the tendrils and- yeah you know, it still looks a little bit unpolished. And that was something I noticed on this Australia tour. Her hair uh -huh. sometimes just really didn't suit the outfit. Yes. And just really didn't look as polished as it could have in terms of the actual style she chose. Like when she should have had an updo, she had it kind of down and just blah. Didn't yes. do anything. Absolutely. I'm glad you brought that up. I just, I, again, it adds to the overall messy. I think it looks like she has a bump it. If you guys can remember what that is, that thing you stick in your hair under. Yes. <laughs> to create it does look design. like that. <laughs> um, but continuing on the awful behavior, allegedly, let's see. So this was the same trip where allegedly a cup of tea was thrown. Um, uh, there's dispute other over whether it was thrown at somebody thrown up in the air, whatever tea went flying courtesy of Megan and four female staffers quit after this trip. Uh, there were complaints from everybody from the staff, from local British diplomats, even a daily mail reporter witnessed some pretty questionable behavior of uh, Miss Markle toward, especially toward her staff. So I say all that to say, I really wonder, was she, I mean, I don't think she listens to anybody behind the scenes, but I wonder if she was acting that horribly. If people were telling her, you know, hey, Meg, why don't we try this other outfit? If she was like, no, I got this. I know what I'm doing. You don't kind of thing. Yeah, probably, probably. She's, she really wanted to go for 
it's almost like she gets tunnel vision or something because she cannot see the setting, the mm-hmm. weather, yes. or the environment that she's going into, the occasion. She just like is blind to all of those factors and just goes for whatever it is that she wants, which is typically something super expensive and has something about it that's not appropriate. Like here, having bare arms. Mm -hmm. Probably not appropriate when you come to like diplomacy or, you know, etiquette or other like the nursing home dress, just Mm -hmm. not appropriate for Mm -hmm. a nursing home or for the weather. (laughs) So she can't can't see those other factors. And yeah, I could see somebody being like, well, here might be best to do that. And Mm -hmm. oh, no, you can't tell can't say that to Megan. <laughs> oh, you're so right. But you, you, you're nailing it. The uh, tunnel vision. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to wear this. Forget everything else. Right? <laughs> Forget that it might not be appropriate to have my arms out. You're so right. Good, good catch. I'm stuck on the 2200 for this dress. I mean, yeah. I could give you a check for 2200 right now. And I promise you, you could come back with I don't know, seven dresses that are better than this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. More than seven. My yeah. gosh. Yeah. This one. Yeah. It, it doesn't really do anything for her, for her figure or anything like that. And Mm-mm. it's so simple for that price tag. I'm qu- kind yeah. of shocked. Same. Same. So hopefully, it, hopefully, it, hopefully the fabric just feels like a cloud or something yeah. to justify that price. Oh goodness. I just, yeah, I, I can't wrap my head around that. Um, and then the nude pumps, I, I personally, I, I get the idea of Navy and nude. I don't like it because you have that light fabric in between, you know, the, whatever, it's not even ombre. It's just the color yeah the color, color block blocking. yeah mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on that do they bother you or is that the least of the concerns with this one well i feel like if you were to try a different shoe you would, the really only other option you could do is navy which would make okay. that color block pop even more because okay. you would have it kind of punctuated by more navy but uh-huh. it would have to match the dress the top part of the dress perfectly True. for it to work so i uh-huh. feel like maybe that one was uh, this dress in particular is a little difficult to pick a good shoe Okay. So, I mean, nude isn't the worst option if you can't mm-hmm. match the navy because something else would be way worse. Yeah, you know. that's true. Yeah, and at least it's not strappy because imagine this with like oh. a black strap across the ankle and dark shoes, then it would really chunk up the ankle area too it much. Would. It would. So yeah, it's it's not the worst choice, but it may. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, navy probably would have looked better. Yeah, that's that's very true. So moving right along, let's look at this horrible outfit. This was at the Sydney opening of, I believe it's called ANZAC, A-N-Z-A-C. And it's a war memorial. It's in Hyde Park, again in Sydney. And um, this dress is Amelia Wickstead. It's a, funny enough, the dress is actually called Camilla. It's a wool crepe dress. It retails for, you ready for this? Nineteen hundred and fifty-two dollars just for the dress. The hat—I never say it right. I believe it's pronounced Philip Tracy. It might be Tracy. I don't know. Philip Tracy is nine hundred fifty-four dollars for that hat, and the shoes are Tabitha Simmons Millie shoes for six hundred ninety-two dollars, bringing this look to a whopping thirty-five hundred ninety-eight dollars. Talk to me, Biebs. Help me. My eyes. My eyes. What's up? <laughs> what's up with the floating wow. head what's going on <laughs> <laughs> yes she does have the floating head effect it's very unfortunate here but it's all because she chose to do her hair down for Ooh. a high neck outfit like this because her hair is dark you know if she had like blonde hair or something it might not be as dramatic of an effect but her hair is dark the uh-huh. top is dark and the collar comes up high so having her hair down is just closing all that in, making it oh. look like there's no division or space for her neck at all. Uh-huh. If she would have had a updo, that's like a low at the back of the head updo, you know, the way not to compare directly, yeah. but the way that we see Catherine Princess of Wales do when for she sure. has to wear a hat and a coat dress or something like that, she often goes for those hairstyles. And part mm-hmm. of the reason is because when you have a high neckline or a coat dress or something, Mm-hmm. If your hair is down, everything closes in too much. And you do. You look like you just have a head popped straight onto your shoulders. That's so true. If she would have had her hair back and, and in something nice and polished and mm-hmm. beautiful, um, you know, it would have worked a lot better in terms of 
this area of presentation and probably would have been a little more appropriate for an outdoor event for mm -hmm. a war memorial situation. True. I feel like, you know, an updo, a chignon, French twist, something at minimum mm -hmm. is kind of the more appropriate choice as well. Absolutely. That's such a good point. And then what are your thoughts on the, what's going on with the white? Why are we looking at white buttons down this thing? <laughs> Is it just a design choice? What's going on with that? I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a design, a design element. Um, mm -hmm. in, in one, on one hand, something like that can help to add a little bit of a vertical line, but I just feel like it doesn't work quite well here because the buttons mm -hmm. are kind of big for yeah. the approach i feel uh -huh. and and they also look to be like flat i feel like if they were small little like pearl buttons or something that had a little bit more dimension it might have yeah. worked a little bit better That's but yeah the true. contrast is really extreme between those white buttons and the black of the outfit yeah. and it just yeah it doesn't quite work i get where they were going for you know uh -huh. Amelia Wick said design house here i get what yeah. they're going for I feel uh -huh. like this would work really nicely for somebody with a little bit more height. Okay. It might work nicer. Uh huh. Yeah, it's it's a little jarring, and then all you can stare at is those buttons. Yeah, yeah, Very and they it. just they look like they're swaying, like they're they're not perfectly lined up. So it's... exactly, yeah. When the fabric it, of the of the bottom part, portion uh -huh. is looks to be more flowy and soft, yeah. and so as it moves with movement uh -huh. with walking then those buttons are going to create those. So for a, an event where you're going to get photographed, it yes. definitely was not a great choice because then it's going to look all mm -hmm. wonky yes. in the pictures because you can't control that. If, okay. if it were a stiffer fabric or something, or if the buttons stopped at the waistband area or something, it might have eliminated that. But uh -huh. yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah. Not quite working. <laughs> Unfortunate. What's yeah. going on with her undergarment situation? Her, what's up with the bra? <laughs> <laughs> this is so frustrating when she uh -huh. does this. She has a strapless bra on under mm -hmm. a completely covered normal top here. Where yeah. We could totally wear just a normal bra with straps. Sure. I don't understand the logic. I don't understand why she would do that. No. It doesn't make sense. And then, yeah, you can you can totally see the line of where the bra is across mm -hmm. the top. And Absolutely. you can kind of see where it is on the bottom. I'm sure from the back you can see because strapless bras are notorious for, mm -hmm. you know, really digging in across the back as sure. well. And I think mm -hmm. it's adding, you know, you've got this puckering in the armpit that she really struggles with in part because her shoulders are broader than she needs for like her, her torso, for example. Sure. Uh -huh. So that's in part just something that, is difficult for a fit for somebody whose shoulders are a little bit broader, but right. mm -hmm. I very much think she wears different bras when she's trying something on than she wears out or when she's getting it fitted. Yes. Because that's what kind of tends to cause the puckering in the armpit area it really has to do with the bust a lot of the time. Uh-huh. Absolutely. You're so right. It just, as you point out, it doesn't seem necessary in this outfit there I'll, I'll give her a little bit of a pass and some of those when she did the boat necks like i understand you don't want strap showing but i don't understand it in this i truly don't no. yeah yeah because there's just there's no reason for it especially something like this you can wear just a normal really simple t-shirt bra you could mm -hmm. even wear a smoothing tank on top you could do all of that on a yeah. dress like this you can have all those things mm -hmm. to prevent any sorts of lines and have that really sleek finish which you know not only makes you look nicer in pictures, but I mean, some people, I guess, don't really care about that, which is fine. But when you're attending an event and I mean, at this point, representing the monarchy, it's uh -huh. really important to be polished because these pictures go in, you know, history books or or pamphlets or they're on displays because yeah. it's a big deal. And sure. so having something like that, like I would never in a million years want a no. war wardrobe malfunction if it's going to go down in history. And exactly. No, I totally agree. Photograph. Well, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. And then uh, I, I'm just stuck on the hat too. <laughs> I know it's a well-known design. I've heard of this uh, hat. I think Milner, I think is what it's called, but um, it looks like seaweed taped to the side of her head. That's all I can see. <laughs> What's with the <Yeah>. seaweed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I think I think something about it doesn't read quite right. And uh -huh. again, paired up with the hair down, you yeah. have all these like you know where her layers are and whatnot. Not that that mm -hmm. doesn't look nice. I mean, you know, uh -huh. her hair looks nice. It just doesn't sure. go with the situation, sure. and it doesn't go with this hat because the hat has stuff going on and kind of poking out of it. It's like you said, uh -huh. seaweed of that. Yeah. <laughs> but then the hair doing kind of similar sorts of wispiness or curls or dimension That's off true. to the other uh -huh. side. It's not really working well. I also okay. wonder about her shoes. These are the shoes that have the, I think it's like a butterfly or a bow on the mm -hmm. back of the heel. So it's close. So, and I do see what you're talking about. There is something on the back. Those that you're talking about are usually, she wears those a lot. They're coming up. They're Aqua Zara shoes. These ones are uh, Tabitha Simmons Millie shoes. I can it, talk to me that there is something on the back of these, but I yeah. know the the ones you're talking about, they're little bows, mm -hmm. but they look like butterflies. Yeah. Yeah. She wears those quite a bit. She does. Yeah. So mm -hmm. these, okay. So these are a different pair of shoes, but they mm -hmm. still have noise on the yeah. back. And with the length of the dress, I just don't think that works. I think it's just kind of adding this sort of messy punctuation to an otherwise nice, even hemline that maybe is a bit long for her, for her mm -hmm. height, but you know, I would give that a pass because it's not like uneven or super weird, but then the shoes are super messy. So yes. she, and she brought on this trip, I know she brought, cause I've seen them in the other pictures, mm -hmm. very simple black pumps. She has yes. uh -huh. simple black pumps in her suitcase on this day. And she chose something that was messy on the back, which I just don't feel like works with the volume and length of the skirt. You are so right. I didn't think about that. See your genius. I didn't even think about that. The length of the dress, it doesn't make sense to have these details because it it puts your eye at a weird spot. I don't, it's like, hey, look at my shins. What? <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. And the extra skinny ankles. <laughs> yes. Look at me. I, yeah. Yeah. I think that, um, with a pencil skirt or something that has less volume mm. to it, you can get away with something look cute like that on your heels. Uh, uh -huh. We even saw Catherine Princess of Wales wear uh, the, I think they were the Aquazora heels with the, uh -huh. you know, bow or detail on, on the heel yeah. area and the back of the heel. So, but that day she was wearing a very simple like sheath dress or something that was just plain and sleek uh -huh. and also a little closer to the knee. And so with this, with the volume to the skirt, it's just not the right choice of shoe because it kind of adds messiness, which yes. we know is a theme. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's she got to be on brand. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> got to be messy. And then we will move on, I promise. But I, I'm realizing, I think the two things I hate the most, I hate those white buttons, but also it just, I thought it was a skirt with like a cardigan I don't know what I thought it was but I'm realizing this is all one dress that's kind of tucked and it yes. kind of and you're better at this than me I'm just saying out loud if you have trouble with your shoulders and and you're tucked up high like that it makes it it makes you look like a linebacker a little bit. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it looks like she's wearing football pads. That's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. Part of that's because of the high neckline and whatnot. If it had like okay. a little bit of a V-neck or just a slightly lower like scoop neck and wasn't like coming up like this, then uh -huh. it wouldn't appear that there's so much distance across the shoulder area yes. and decollete area. But uh -huh. yes, yeah, so where it's coming at the waistband, it's probably because it's slightly too tight across that area of her waist. Okay. And it's causing this to like ride up a bit into okay. where the shirt area is supposed to be. You know, mm -hmm. somebody like, for example, mm -hmm. Catherine Princess of Wales wearing this, she would probably have to have it taken in a little bit at the waistband area and it would sure. lay very, very flat and very, very sleek. Yes. Uh -huh. But because mm -hmm. of Megan's, you know, it's, totally normal just you know proportions when sure. it comes to these things if she doesn't have it tailored perfectly which she probably didn't take the time to do that sure. that's 
on brand again. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to tailor anything. Yeah. Then it creates these types of, uh, you know, movement uh -huh. where it's not supposed to be, like the bunching here by the shoulders, which does just draw the eye over because you see that wrinkling in the armpit. Then you're kind of focused on that shoulder for a second. And then you're like, wow, that's pretty wide. Uh huh. So, the same Absolutely. thing happens with the waistband. It's right. riding up a bit because it's a bit too tight there. Fabric tape can help those things sometimes mm -hmm. to help it stay. Okay. But we know she doesn't do those types of things either. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so funny you mentioned the tailoring. I put up a video a, a while ago where I found an old interview that Megan gave. It was back, I believe, when she was on Suits, talking about the importance of tailoring. I saw that video on your channel. Oh, it was very you. good. Yes. But, you, but so it's weird to hear. She knows the things to do, but just won't do them. Can't no. be bothered, I guess. I don't no. know. It, maybe it's that the people at the palace or, you know, whatever her staff was, mm -hmm who were helping out with these types of trips and stuff with the wardrobe were suggesting that it be tailored and mm -hmm. she just didn't want to listen because she didn't have a good working relationship with those people. Maybe that was part of why she rejected that because she just was cranky. I guess. I don't <laughs> you know, know, maybe like it just, well, I'm not going to do what you say because yes. I'm, you know, irritated with all the staff uh -huh. for whatever reason. Yeah. I, it's I I just my assumption, just my guess here, my opinion that I think it's I'm better, I know better. That's it. It stops with you know what I mean? Like simple as that. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so now we have to talk about to me one of the most offensive dresses <laughs> that she wore on this tour. Now, this was so let me set the stage. They're at King Fisher Bay at Fraser Island. And when I was pulling looks for this, for this whole video, when I pulled this, I knew I wanted to include this one. When, when papers wrote about this and like Daily Mail and stuff were reporting on this, they, they said she quote, stepped out in one of her most daring outfits yet. That's a polite way of saying, what the hell is she wearing? What is this? This dress is by, it's called Karen Walker, Northern Lights. Um, no, I'm sorry. Those are her sunglasses. Her sunglasses are Karen Walker, Northern Lights, 270. The dress is a Reformation pineapple dress. I haven't heard of that. Uh, $203 for that. So the sunglasses were more expensive than the dress. And then Sarah Flint Greer sandals, 340 So the total look of this outfit is $813. Talk to me, Biebs. Help me. Help me. What is this? How do you make this outfit that expensive? How I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's hardly any fabric. There's nothing mm -hmm. happening that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll put almost picture, a grand. I'll put this picture up right now. This is her greeting crowds that were waiting to see them bent down, showing off cash and prizes. I don't know how else to say it. Like. <laughs> I just, to me, and I didn't mean to cut you off. I want to hear every thought you have. I just find it so utterly disrespectful of the country you're visiting to wear something like this. And I understand I've seen William and Catherine. I've seen all the Royals. There are days that are more casual. Harry is dressed more casual here. I get it. This is not casual. This is something I would wear at the beach over my bathing suit. What is this look? Help me, Biebs. Help me. It's bad. I find, like, I feel uncomfortable looking at that picture of her crouched down like that. Mm -hmm. I, it's uncomfortable. Like, if yeah. I had my kids there, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah. why are you wearing that? Yeah. Come and meet us, you know, because surely right. with this, like, it's not super low, but I'm sure, um, you know, she's got some stupid push up strapless bra underneath yes. there, probably. So <laughs> I'm sure that. when she bent down, there's probably cleavage. There's probably, uh -huh. as you can see here, there's see through uh -huh. aspect yeah. to this very light fabric. Yes. And then, you know, the super high slits. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, you're half naked why why are you doing that to these children care to meet you or these you know yes. folks who older folks I mean I'd be so oh. uncomfortable and embarrassed if I were in something that unprofessional Same. absolutely and yep. why can't Harry tuck in his shirt either that's one thing yeah. that's bothering me as well in this picture 
uh-huh. his shirt's untucked and it looks like there's like a tag or something exposed. Oh, and that lower button. It. Maybe I don't know what uh-huh. it is, but he uh-huh. should tuck in his shirt at least. Like the outfit he has on is fine for the occasion, but mm-hmm. it, he should tuck in his shirt. Because it yeah. just gives the impression that you just rolled out of your bungalow to come yes. and stroll right. the boardwalk to say hello a little bit. Uh-huh. You don't really care. Yes. That's You're what this right. whole thing reads from both of them. You're exactly. It's like we can't be bothered. You're absolutely right. You guys yeah. came out to see us. We can't be bothered to make an effort you know, when we see you. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good point. And then uh, offline, we were talking about this and how much I hate this outfit. And you had such a good point, which it comes across as we're having this private beach date, something like that. And, and the rest of us are eavesdropping on it, but no, it's a Royal function. It's a Royal duty. It's (laughs) they're on a Royal tour. Yeah. It's not a paparazzi picture here. Let's be clear. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, an official picture from an official engagement that they were briefed for. So to choose this just makes no sense. Plus, we know the queen and just in general, you know, the monarchy. This is a professional environment when you right. are representing them. You mm-hmm. do not wear spaghetti straps or strapless mm-hmm. things or super high slits or see through things. So mm-hmm. she just ticked all the boxes of things you shouldn't do. Absolutely. It's it's confusing too because this was their first correct this was their first tour together correct yeah their first and pretty much only i think this was the big it went so poorly that i don't think they did much else after this yeah Um, but yeah speaking of former palace employee stated that um megan is on record for hating every second of this tour she found the itinerary and the engagements pointless that is according to tina bowers palace papers so i guess it shows through her wardrobe this is the idgaf i don't give a blank look (laughs) it is that's so sad to hear you know because one of my favorite things about the monarchy and Mm -hmm. and the work that they do is and not just that they do so much good to draw attention to like meaningful causes and programs that are like really helpful for community and for people, but they're a unifying force. You Uh know, they bring people together. There's all kinds of different people of all kinds of different ages who gather to meet them. Mm -hmm. And it's a big deal when they make a tour and they go around and, you know, visit different places, which for others who maybe don't travel as often is also drawing attention to all these unique places and unique things and cultures from different areas. Like they have so much good that they do when they do these tours. Uh And so it's really insulting for her to act like it's pointless or say that it's pointless because it serves such great purpose. Yes. It's the opposite of pointless. She just Mm -hmm. didn't get it. That's oh, I'm so see, once again, you are so spot on. That's exactly what what people have said since hearing that quote that she hated every second of it and that she called it pointless. People were saying she just doesn't get it. She doesn't. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's a shame. And, and like I said, that's sad Mm -hmm. to hear. It's not just that she's making terrible choices with her outfits, but it's almost (laughs) like on purpose. Like, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want, but it's also, again, like we've said before, it's contradictory to her vibes of always wanting the spotlight and charge in front of Harry, too. So she's just a confused woman. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I, you're, yeah, you're absolutely right. Talk to me about the shoes and how many oh. pairs of these do you own? <laughs> this is, I hate these sandals. I don't oh. usually just come out and say something like that, but you these I just it. despise them. They look so messy. Like you just wrapped some leather around your ankles. I don't mm. understand. I don't think they look flattering on her, you know, outfit mm. and her whole look here. They're not flattering. They don't match anything, but I don't think they're a generally flattering shoe at all. No, I don't think so either. They're, they're kind of messy looking. And and mm-hmm. again, for a situation like this, what happened to just like maybe a nice floral day dress, something like mm-hmm. that with some flats yes, or something like that would be nice. Or even some yeah. trainers, like some cute little white trainers. Yes. And a, a cute floral dress, something really simple like that, like Absolutely. could have looked so nice and yep. flattering 
Mm-hmm. And still been respectful, but still been casual. You know, she could yes. have done something with a fun, whimsical print, some mm-hmm. some ruffles or or something frilly, something fun still. But that, mm-hmm. you know, covered your shoulders a little bit, perhaps, and had some normal shoes on. Absolutely. Oh, you're, so, yep, you're so right. Ugh. In fact, I love it when they wear like a fun sundress with like some plain white trainers. I think that's yeah. a really cute look and I it's relatable. Too. Mm -hmm. And for this sort of environment, this place that they're at, I think it would have looked great, but absolutely. Yeah. I think you're so right. It, it, it shows when again, going back to Catherine, when she does that look, it shows it to me, it makes her even more approachable. Yes. You know, and that she's thought about things like moving around and meeting people and interacting and, and, and cares, you know, and this just, this screams the opposite of that. I would say lack of care. It does. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah. I, I'm I'm gathering stuff for a video about Catherine's looks recently. And like she went to visit or join a toddler play date. And so uh-huh. she wore like a really bright blazer uh-huh. with pants so, so she could get down there and play with the kids. But she had something bright and fun on and yeah. she had her hair tied back. You know, like it just mm-hmm. makes sense for the occasion. Yes. Every bit of it made sense. And she had on trainers that day too, I think. So like, it just all made sense. It was practical. Uh Nobody's going to complain that you're not wearing a dress. If you're Mm -hmm. sitting on the floor playing with kids, pants make sense, you know? Absolutely. And so here we just have stuff that doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit the occasion. It's absolutely the tunnel vision thing again. Yep. I think, I really think that you, I mean, they live in their own little world. They're in their own bubble. Like you said, that's, that's absolutely right. They just can't be bothered, right? (laughs) Goodness. Okay, guys, I'm leaving this one here. We still go through so many more looks. So I'll have another episode up in the next day or two. So check back. And of course, we continue the conversation on Beebs channel as well. Beebs Kelly is her name, of course, and you can find her here on YouTube. Um, I think she said she might be a day or two behind. So definitely look for that in the next couple of days. More of our conversation. We have so many more looks to cover. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. There's so much to cover in their Australia, Fiji, Tonga trip. Uh, so much bad behavior. So many terrible outfits. I'm excited to go continue on talking about these. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. If you want to further support, definitely check out the merch. Of course, we got Make It Make Sense, uh, Drunk Goose Club, Honk Honk, and Recollections May Vary, or check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Now, Biebs was kind enough to record bonus material over there, so that will be up in the next couple days, so check that out. And Uh, Again, that's patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Thank you guys for everything. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. Take care. Bye-bye.